it's killed the sit screws away very quickly. So too Bianca Williams at this stage. She's cl clawing back the deficit on Lika Klava. Lika Klava very slow to get away, but now it's really starting to get into a running. But Bianca Williams striding out, having a very good run indeed. Now Klava goes through the gears. It's the Dutch woman who's pulling away from Bianca Williams. 16 points to the Dutch, but a good run from Williams there, who hasn't broken 23 seconds this year. And a personal best for the Greek, out in lane eight. Clabber clearly using this as an opportunity to work on her speed. I wonder what events she'll do at the World Athletics Championships in Budapest. I think she actually said that she hasn't quite firmed all that up yet. Well, now we're really starting to look forward to the way that this is going to unfold as far as the team standings is concerned. Lika Klava, though, the Dutch continue to have an excellent championship. 22-46, there's the full standings. And Dalia Kadari, winner of the second heat, takes 12 points for Italy in fifth place overall. So only concedes one point to the Poles in the team standings. Italy still in the lead. They've just dropped a point there. Kiel Basinska and her good run at the 200 from Poland, nudging them closer, but it's still a sizable gap. Germany holding on for third. So still Norway, Belgium and Turkey in the relegation zone. And they're away in final A of the men's 200 metres. A good start for Great Britain and Northern Ireland with Adam Clayton. He's al alongside Filippo Torto. He's been having a fantastic season. Ryan Zeze of France is in the driving seat at the moment. He hits 50 metres to go. His stride is shortened, but Zeze is pulling away. He's got time to celebrate 20-29 for Ryan Zeze. And that is the best run of his season. Uh, Unofficially, the clock in the stadium, 20.29 into a minus 1.3 headwind. That is good running from Ryan Zeze, and he had time to celebrate as well. Very, very impressive run by Ryan Zeze. There haven't been too much for the French to celebrate, but that's certainly one moment in the sun for the French team. Zeze confirmed to 20.29 in a season's best. Kamansky in second and Tortu in third for Italy. After two events this afternoon and 27 events overall, other standings with Italy, 320 points, Poland just nibbling away very gently at their lead, 33 and a half points behind them. At the bottom, Turkey, Belgium and Norway. Greece now starting to extricate them a little bit themselves a little bit from relegation trouble. They've got a 23 and a half point buffer between themselves and the relegation zone. And Marco Tamberi has the luxury of a little ball to play with at this height. His first attempt is at the El Plaza meeting in Zurich. He cleared 2.34. Oh, nicely done. His calves were very close to the bar. Just the merest of touches, perhaps. But we don't see a visible wiggle. There we go. Still what he's tight on. Just the merest of touches there for Tamberi. You don't get a closer clearance than that, do you? I know we've had some, some rattling bars mostly in the, in the men's pole vault, uh, but Tamberi almost is, knows this event so well and just morphs his body into exactly the right tra trajectory. There was nothing to spare there. What I told to my team uh, in the first day was uh, this is a nine, not an individual competition, this is a team competition, a team European Cup, so uh, what we have to... Uh, achieve is to take the cup. Somehow they, they look at my story and uh, uh, and they, they understood that everything is possible. And uh, uh, the same way I did with the other athletes, this is sport. We take uh, inspiration from the others and uh, of course I'm very happy that I'm giving them some some power, some strength to uh, go versus their, their obstacles. So uh, this team is amazing. I never seen a, 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 an Italian team that strong, so I'm really proud to be a captain of the strongest team ever. Cotabe, the Italian, she's a long way back at the moment. This is all about the point, but Konacek, well on her way now. Just one hurdle to go. And this is going to be a good victory for Poland and it's going to be a big, big roar as she comes home. 
it's going to be Alicia Konacek coming home for the second European Team Championships in succession. The time unofficially, 9.38.73. That doesn't really matter, although it was a good 3.13 last kilometre to make the time respectable. Now, this is all important, coming home in, I believe, seventh place, subject to confirmation. It's Italy's Eleonora Katabi. So Poland are going to pull back points on Italy after that event. And the plaudits go to Alicia Konacek. This was a magical place today. On the last lap, when I just started hearing the crowd going crazy, I took the lead and I was like, I can't let them down. I had to go for it. So yeah, I was just like carried away by their, their cheers and you know, when I was on the star line, I hear their support. So yeah, I was very taken. With about 50 meters to go, you just look back. What, what were you thinking then? I was just thinking what's happening there, if I'm okay and if I can, if I can smile. So I look back and I was like, I can, I'm safe, I can smile. There we have confirmation. So Lysia Konacek, second successive victory in this event. 9.38.72. Flavio Renaud just four seconds outside her personal best. And Marta Serrano of Spain completing the top three. 30 events undergone, seven to come. Italy, they're still very much in command of this competition. But Poland have reduced the deficit to 23 and a half points and 17 points further back, Germany in third. So, final throw of the competition. Italy, another win. They've been doing very well. Gianmarco Tamberi took a very popular victory at the other end of the stadium. You can see the high jump beds ready for the women. And Zane Weir has got the job done here in the men's shot put. Another throw in excess of 21 metres. That would be three in this series. Brilliant to hear about those technical adjustments Zane Weir has been working on. And he caught up with Phil Minchel at the press conference. And um, I love it when they say, oh, you know, you might not expect much this season. But yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Three throws over 21. Uh, so perhaps they're just take, trying to take the pressure off themselves ever so slightly, Weir and his coach. Uh, but that's a, a great effort here, a 21.59 and a win. Well, Weir is also looking forward to the European Championships next year. And it's just been revealed that the men's shot puts will be in the Coliseum. That's amazing. <laughs> Same way up top in the men's shot put, 21. 59, God, they can take the gladiators to, yeah, <laughs> rolling back the years if they let these men shot put athletes back into that gladiator arena. Scott Lincoln was second, Michael Haritick was third. I think today, you know, I've been struggling a little bit since the um, since the opening of the outdoor season, so um, in my personal life, also just trying to um, control my own expectations of myself, and I think um, there was no expectation. I just wanted to come in here, find a bit of rhythm technically. I'm in great physical shape. It's just a matter of technical ability, and so I'm still working on that, but the season is long, uh, Budapest is still just under two months away, so that's my main focus and um, I'm looking forward to that challenge. I think um, another two months of training and uh, we, we can see something special. 200 to go now. What rivalry between these two, it was nine men. Whittle down to four, then to three, then somehow Kripper, who was on for a hat-trick potentially, fell off. Almgren and Ndikim Winayo as they round the lap runner. Almgren of Sweden is still there. He's not giving these up. He's gritting his teeth. Ndikim Winayo looks over his shoulder and he holds on to take a thrilling maximum point victory for Spain. 2.31 for that last kilometre, so the fastest of all. What an incredible head-to-head. -head. Kripper will be so disappointed, but ultimately, these two men in front doing so well, pushing the pace, as Bill said, it was up and it was down, concertinering, eventually 13.25 on the clock. It was a masterful closing lap there uh, from the Spanish athlete, taking the lead uh, round the back straight. That was very important, got himself the pole position. You can see Algram was finishing at, at the same speed as him, but the gap that Ndika and Maya got down the back straight. That's it, that's job done. And then you've just got to defend. That's that's what we've seen at so many uh, kind of global championships at the men's 5K. Julian Weber, 89.54 last year in Henglo and 88.37 this season. 
getting really, really consistent above 85 meters in so many of his competitions. The championship record here held by Johannes Vetter. Probably unachievable, perhaps, by these men today. And that's good to see a green flag. Julian Weber in the driving seat at the moment. Well, we're carrying on, and we will have the last round of the javelin before we get the 4x4 four four mixed relay underway. Leandro Ramos loves this. It's going to be over meet, over 80 metres for the Portuguese athlete. It's 81, 62 for Ramos. He is up into second place. Timotei Erman, furthest throw of the competition just now in the fifth round. Is he finding his groove as he hurls himself on the ground. He's roaring it on as well. That's another though in excess of 80 meters wow we are going to have at least three men over 80 meters 81 67 it's five centimeters further than ramos timotei erman up into second place well poland managed to take 10 points out of the lead of italy but subject to confirmation the italians are the european athletics team champions confirmed result of the javelin Julian Weber taking the win, 86-26. Timotei Erman of Belgium in second. Leandro Ramos with the season's best for Portugal takes third. And there it is confirmed. Italy, 414 and a half points. Poland, 37 points further back. Germany, though, could still mathematically overtake Poland. So silver and bronze in this competition still to be decided. Spain can't get on the podium now, though. And there, at the bottom end of the table, Turkey, Belgium and Norway. Well, theoretically, both Belgium and Turkey can claw their way out of relegation. But it does look a little bit difficult for those teams to be able to get out of the relegation zone. Oh, Muller grimacing, but he does hand over in front to Lada Vondrava. Oh, and these tumbling there all sorts of chaos between the Finns and the Swedes we'll unravel that later that doesn't affect what's happening at the front though Cynthia Belongo has really got up and he's now motoring past her rivals Belongo has just sped past Vondrava the Norwegian Ericsson and tagged on the back there it's the Swiss runner Julia Niederberger and Belongo just came out of that changeover and just went straight past the three women in front of her. But Lara Vondova has got something in the tank still. Can Cynthia Belongo? Well, Belongo looks as though she's tying up. Belongo just had her first race over one lap of the track this year in the individual 400 metres. But Lara Vondova comes through. 3.12.35 unofficially and a championship record. And that also puts the Czech Republic up to fifth on the European all-time list. Uh, big celebrations for Czech Republic. Let's see whether any of the teams in the A race can go faster than that. So Italy, France, Great Britain, Portugal have dropped back, and then the Polish round this final bend. Polinari still for Italy, Brossier, and then Macaulay for Great Britain, but they've all got to watch for Natalia Kazmarek. Inside the Stadion Slaski, in front of a home crowd, Kazmarek surely round the outside, all the way into lane three. Perhaps it was inevitable, as Poland take victory in the final event in 3-12-17. But it's half a second slower than the Czech Republic. 3-12-3 for them. Absolutely extraordinary. Well, what do you make of that? Poland, of course, the class act. But they've been beaten out by the Czech Republic in the overall standings. The noise was roaring Natalia Kasmerek down the down the track she set her 400 meter personal best here last year she was good in the individual perhaps getting on terms of Funke Bowl was beyond many people this weekend in the individual event but Natalia Kasmarek was cool and calm under pressure for the Polish squad they are Olympic champions and they've shown their class here in winning this A race yes 
They were half a second slower than the Czech Republic, but there was severe traffic uh, going on. But then you've got to say, you know, you've left yourself in that traffic. You've got to have to navigate it. After all 37 events, quite close behind Italy of Poland. You can see Britain have moved past the Netherlands. And there was only three and a half points between the two before these relays. Sweden looked to have moved up as well. Czech Republic have taken themselves out of danger also by virtue of those uh, maximum points because they were much closer to the bottom three, certainly at the start the of the day. Italian leap up onto the winner's dais. This is a historic moment. The old European Cup, the forerunner of the European Athletics Team Championships, was founded by an Italian, Bruno Zauli. Until this day, the Italians have never won either the old men's or women's European Cup or the European Athletics Team Championships, but that has been consigned to history as Gianmarco Tamberi holds aloft the winner's trophy for the 2023 European Athletics Team Championships.